The Odessa City Council is looking to make some changes to the operations of sexually oriented businesses. Fox 24's Jeon Kim spoke with city officials today. She joins us now live to break it all down. Good evening, Jeon. Well, good evening, Monica. Senior Assistant City Attorney Dan Jones says it's an effort to combat human trafficking. All of the proposed amendments to the already existing ordinance aims at protecting minors that both work in these types of industries or could be affected by proximity. Anything that we can do to stop something as bad as human trafficking needs to be done. Sexually oriented businesses may soon need to abide by stricter guidelines. These not only include strip clubs, but also shops that promote sexual content. Ordinance that we put in, at least it was strong enough to incorporate some things that maybe that will keep that from happening, which is important. Senior Assistant City Attorney Dan Jones says the council is being asked to consider amendments to an ordinance that was passed last October. We've got a lot of feedback from a few of the citizens. So we're going to take the 600 feet in the sexually oriented business, SOB ordinance, we're going to move it out to 50. 1,500 feet. That includes churches, elementary schools, high schools, and residential. In addition, the council would require adding national human trafficking hotline signs in Spanish. Businesses are already required to have them in English. The likelihood of certain things happening with industries like this is higher than in other industries. While councilmen and women agree on the necessity, some disagreed on an already existing guideline. Entertainers and non-entertainers in the industry may be denied their annual license renewal if they have outstanding taxes owed to the city. What we're looking for, are there any minors out there? And a minor will not have a water bill in their name. And so it goes back to record keeping and personal qualification. The council decided to move forward without making any changes to the proposed amendments. They will address it again in two weeks for its second approval. If passed, it will go into law in two weeks from this Wednesday. Live in studio, I'm Jian Kim, Fox 24 News.